Hi everyone! Today I would actually like to introduce you all to the newest member of my little animal family. Let me go get him. Hi everyone! This is Charlie. Here you go buddy. I feel like you can't see him that well. <laughs> this is Charlie, my newest rabbit. Here you go, you can have a little explore. He's probably going to be a bit nervous up here just because he's he's never seen my room before. He's an outdoor rabbit. And obviously, I know the people that follow me on Instagram and TikTok and stuff will already know about Charlie, but people who are just my YouTube subscribers won't know anything about him. So here he is. Um, and I thought I could just introduce you to him, get him on my channel, tell you a few things about him. For those who know about rabbits, you might recognise what type he is already. If you don't know anything about rabbits, Charlie is a lion head rabbit. The name is pretty self-explanatory. The breed is called a lion head because they have like this tufty little mane around their head, like a lion, like a lion mane. Another sort of characteristic of a lion head rabbit is like the little tutu that they have. So can you see his little tutu here? <laughs> his age isn't exactly known because he was a rescue, but he is quite young, I know that. I think he is under one year, but again, like, I don't know. <sighs> I don't know for definite. So he's been with us for... He's been with me for three months now. I brought him home on the 5th of February. He's just been settling in. I've been trying to bond him with Bonnie, which is the whole reason that I got him. Because if you know anything about rabbits, you'll know that they're supposed to, to, to live in pairs. Um, and obviously after Wilbur died, Bonnie was left on her own. And even though her and Wilbur weren't bonded because Wilbur was a man who liked his own company, shall we say, Stop hiding, the people want to see you. He, he, he is quite nervous and he is quite shy and quite timid. He's not fully bonded to me yet. Um, that's kind of what I'm going to work on next. So I'm going to have him alone with me like this more often. Because um, obviously he sees me every day and everything because I feed him and clean out the thing every day. But um, it's very different to actually being bonded with me like how Wilbur was. But actually a really good way to bond with your rabbit, and I did this with, with, with Wilbur and we ended up so close, was I would bring him in my room, like what I've done with Charlie now, um, and I would just keep talking and them getting used to your voice is actually really important. So the fact that I can talk to you guys now and have him here is actually a really good thing because he gets used to my voice and it actually keeps them more comfortable to keep moving, if you know what I mean. So with Wilbur, um, it was really sweet because when I brought him in my room and I was just silent, he didn't really move much. He stayed looking really nervous. But as soon as I started talking, even if it was just talking to myself, he started moving about and he felt more comfortable when he heard me. So there's a tip if you're trying to bond, get a bit like a closer bond with your rabbit because it is the most rewarding thing ever and it's such a nice feeling. He's like, what am I supposed to do in here? I rescued him. I think he was from the RSPCA, but I could be wrong. Yeah, he was. He was definitely very timid when I went to go visit him. I saw him online. Obviously, he's a cutie. Um, everybody's drawn to really cute fluffy things. And I've never, I've never had a lion head rabbit before. I've had mini lops, English spots, obviously Bonnie's a French lop, so I've had quite a big variety of different rabbit breeds. But he's my first lion head. He's quite nervous because he doesn't know where he is, but I'm trying to get him used to different environments because um, he's very much now in the habit of being really like quite uncomfortable anywhere other than where he lives outside so i'm trying to like expand that a little bit but it just takes time he has only been here for three months as you can tell big rabbit lover in this house <laughs> he's actually had a really good day today haven't you charlie i made a dig box for them and i originally made it for bonnie because i thought she would like it more but she just didn't figure out what to do with it so i gave it to charlie today to try out and he had the time of his life i mean there was binkies everywhere it was so sweet i'll put in some little clips um so he is a very happy boy and he has come out of his shell a lot since he came here but there's still definitely definitely more progress to be made he just looks like one of the stuffed toys on the end of the bed doesn't he like you wouldn't know the difference are you a gorgeous boy Oh. There he goes, cleaning his face. When you start to know rabbit behaviour, so I've had rabbits for years and years now, 
And I know that him doing that here in this environment means that he doesn't feel any kind of threat because when rabbits are cleaning themselves, they're essentially putting their guard down and they're prey animals, so it's quite a big thing. He doesn't like the siren, I don't think. It's okay. So the fact that he was cleaning himself just then shows that he, he's actually all right. He's just not really... This is his first time in my bedroom and there's a lot going on in here. As you can see, there's a lot of colors. Obviously, he was not even close to being a replacement for Wilbur. Nothing can replace Wilbur, he was incredibly special to me, but I do want to sort of recreate the bond that I had because it was such a big source of comfort for me. And me and Bonnie have a really strong bond. Um, but due to actually how big she is, it's not the easiest to just get her in and have a cuddle with her the way that I did with Wilbur. Um, and Charlie's even smaller than Wilbur because Lionhead is quite a small breed and so he's just the perfect size. I don't think I'll ever not be a crazy rabbit lady. <laughs> yeah, what else? Where are you? <laughs> what else can I tell you guys about him? Oi! I think he's a bit bored to be honest. He's like, there's nothing to do in here. Oh yeah! You wouldn't know looking at Charlie now but actually just a month ago he was... Um, sounds like I'm exaggerating but I'm not. He was dying a month ago. Um, he didn't eat, drink or poop or wee for 48 hours. In rabbits, when they stop eating and going to the toilet, it's a medical emergency, so you have to get them to the vet straight away. And 48 hours is a long time for a rabbit. Essentially, he was, he was in gut stasis, which is a type of rabbit illness where their gut basically just stops working, so his gut just wasn't moving, it wasn't producing anything. Thankfully, I'm so grateful because it was really scary. With medication, the right treatment and everything, he made a full recovery, which is amazing because not every rabbit recovers from gut stasis and I've had a lot of horrible experiences with rabbit sicknesses, so... And he's totally fine now. Seeing him binky the way that he was earlier today was amazing. My animals are such a massive part of my life and I don't actually show my rabbits that much on YouTube. Hello. I did think about bringing... Oh. <laughs> I did think about bringing Bonnie in because I know that she'd be much more comfortable up here. But then I thought, actually, she'd probably be a bit chaotic. Um, but I could do a video with her if you guys wanted me to. The size difference would be hilarious. She's more like that one. <laughs> yeah, if you guys have any questions about my rabbits or rabbit care or your own rabbits, then please comment and I'll try my best to help out. He's just giving himself a little shower. He's fine, aren't you, buddy? When I first got Charlie and I brought him home, I'll put in some clips of the moment that I brought him home. It was actually so much harder than I thought it would be. I put off getting a new rabbit for Bonnie for quite a while because I was just not getting over Wilbur and I still haven't. And I know that it's not something that you do like just get over, but I mean like, it felt like my grief wasn't moving on. I feel so silly talking about it because it was a rabbit, but then why are rabbits any different to cats and dogs? And he would, there was just something about him I can't describe and it still feels really raw even though it's been over a year. And I had these really awful feelings of guilt when I first brought Charlie home. But I just love him and I've learned that he has his own character. My mum says that Charlie reminds her of Wilbur sometimes, obviously not appearance wise but his mannerisms she says. And there has been times where I've seen a bit of Wilbur in him which has been quite sweet. I've got a long way to go with him, I am going to work on our bonds. <laughs> um, He's probably a bit bored now and just wants to be back outside. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm forgetting one massive fact about this little guy. I can't believe I nearly forgot this, but he is actually a an intersex rabbit. So essentially, he is both male and female. <laughs> just because, you know, I like to have rabbits that are really difficult. 
because obviously I got him to bond with Bonnie. And they said, you know, obviously you can't bond rabbits until they're both neutered to, to, to settle down hormones and prevent really severe fights and stuff. And so I went in to get him checked over to be neutered and it turned out he has no balls. He is part male and part female, which is fine because Charlie works both ways. It's a unisex name. Isn't that right, Charlie? So there's still no sign of his little gems. They're just nowhere to be found, are they? But he still has the... <laughs> so yeah, you're quite unique, aren't you? I can't believe I nearly forgot that, that, that little minor fact. Would you stop that? Also, a fact about lion heads, they are one of the softest rabbits out there. I sometimes call him my little mad scientist because of his like fluffy grey hair that just sticks out in all directions. I got this picture of him, I'll put it in here, where he literally looks like a mad scientist. That's why I started calling him that because it's all of his grey hair is just like, he looks like he's been like, zzz, like zapped. But I'm still, I'm still learning about the breed and all that kind of stuff because I've never had a lion head before so I'm still learning. It's quite funny because he's all black but he's got these little, my mum calls them his trainer socks because he's got little white under his feet. Um, I'm going to go pop him back outside because I think he's had enough for today. It's quite overwhelming being in a brand new room and everything. But um, there you go, a little warm welcome to Charlie on my channel. It's keeping you guys up to date. I do post a lot about my animals over on my Instagram, especially my Instagram story. See you later guys, bye.